welcome back to another supplemental here on Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews. This supplemental is of course on tenders and turntables as you can see right here in front of you. This was our original, in quotes, print that we took a look at back in the OG HMR for this. This was the 1991 print, tenders and turntable. As I should probably have said earlier, it's not turntables, it's turntable on here on all, all sides. I don't know why or how that kind of error got past the uh, the sensors over at Strand VCI, but it did. This is just a quick refresher, of course. So this is the 1991 print. However, I did mention there was a 1994 Time Life print of Tenders and Turntables and a 1990 print also put out by Strand VCI. Back with James Learns a Lesson and Thomas Gets Tricked and all that stuff. So other than the 1991 print, what other copy do I have to show you? Well, it's not the Time Life one. That one's extremely rare. I've got the original 1990 print for us to look at today. This, of course, is in the style of, as previously mentioned, James learns a lesson, Thomas gets tricked, Thomas breaks the rules, and Better Late Than Never, although Better Late Than Never was released in 1991, so it technically doesn't count as part of these original reprints, original prints, per se, but it does keep the same VHS artwork style as these did. Uh, so we've got the Brett Allcroft logo, Thomas Tangent and Friends, Tenders and Turntables, and Fixed, you can see. This is also a lighter yellow uh, than this one is. This is more like a, a butter type of yellow, and this is more blaring heat sun yellow. I, I don't know. Story seen on Shining Time Station, a little red triangle up there. Never mind this S that came from the previous seller, or maybe it's not an S. I... I honestly don't know what it is, but they drew on this with a marker, which I'm not happy about. But we've got the same images on the 1991 print with Storyteller Ringo Starr down there at the bottom. Here's the side. Same Thomas is on the 1991 print. The sides are virtually the same, except for the color. And the Strand VCI logo is different. There you go, now you can really see the difference in the yellows. Backs are virtually the same. Same screenshots on both, but the barcode's been moved down here. And there's the screenshot and everything. Legalese and all that good stuff. Also, this tape on the side, this was extremely worn whenever I first bought it uh, off of eBay. This tape was from the seller, and it's held up pretty well. But this tape down here, that was uh, my contribution to this tape uh, to stop the case from completely ripping apart. So. That's why you see tape on there, because this was in very poor shape when I first got it. Now, now I know what you're probably thinking. Wait a minute, Lego lover. The original 1990 prints were all put out with red tapes. Does this mean you have all four red tapes? No, it does not. Got y'all good, didn't I? Y'all thought this was going to be a red tape, but guess what? It's not. I thought this was going to be a red tape when I bought it off eBay, but the seller didn't provide any images of the tape in the listing, and I took a chance. This was like 13 or $14 back then. I thought, hey, I'll take a chance. I wonder if it's red, and it turns out it's not. But that's okay, because I still own all four of the original 1990 prints with the OG boxes and such. I just need one more red tape to complete my set of reds. So I'm not sure if we're going to have any more supplementals on tenders and turntables. I'm not actively searching for a red copy of tenders and turntables or a time life version because that one's extremely rare. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, good night, everybody.